Hello everyone, my name is Professor Wilson Kamami and my YouTube channel is also called Professor Wilson Kamami. This is where we simplify mathematics together. So in this case we are going to look at, we are looking at statistics, but this time we are looking at group data, all the videos of one group data, they are there. So for group data, this is our fourth video, but this time we are looking at how we calculate mean deviation and the coefficient of mean deviation. So uh, uh, it is the mean of the division. The division, uh, I think the word itself is self-explanatory when you interpret it from the layman language, mean division. So in this case, you may realize that uh, you are having a data somewhere. So let maybe uh, mean division. How do we calculate mean division? So in this case, I'll be using MD to, to refer to mean division. So how do we get the mean division? For group data, you realize it's the summation of F absolute of X minus X bar all over summation of F. And you realize that in this case, X bar is our arithmetic mean. It's our arithmetic mean and X is my midpoint. Is my midpoint. So in this case, I may take an example so that's how we get the mean division. The coefficient of mean division, of mean division, the coefficient of mean division will just be our mean division all over uh, our mean. To just be mean division over our mean. So that one doesn't have a problem. So we can have our own example. We can create our own example. In this case, we are having uh, 10 to 19. We can have that one. Maybe class, we can call it class. So we are going to just create a, a, a simple example so that you can understand we get that one. 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and 50 to 59. So what is my frequency in this case? I can have a, a simple uh, uh, 6, 7, 9. We are just using the same example that we used to calculate our mean so that you can see how we get the mean division. And then 3, 5. So that the total frequency here, the total frequency will be 30. So how do we get, uh, as you can see, we must calculate our mean Mean, we said we introduced midpoint. Midpoint. And I showed you how we get the midpoint. Midpoint, I said, if it is like this class of 10 to 19, 10 to 19, we just be 10 plus 19, you divide by 2. You are going to get 14.5. So in this case, it will be 14.5. So if you are having 20 to 29, 20 plus 29 is 49. Divide by 2, you get 24.5. For 30 to 39, we are going to get 30 plus 39. You divide by 2, you are going to get 34.5. 40 and 49, 89. Divide by 2, uh, 44.5. And this one will be 54.5. So as we are calculating mean, we know we need Fx. On how we calculate mean, I have a video on the same. Uh, on how we get the mean using even both as a, the normal mean and how we use assumed mean. So in this case, uh, you need f of x, the product of 6 and 14.5. That's what we are going to get. Here you are going to get 8, 7. So 7 times 24.5, we are going to get uh, 171.5. 34.5, remember, we are getting the product. Of this one, 9 and this one, we are going to get 310.5. Then 3 and 44.5. As we agreed, we are saying, how do we get the mean? The mean uh, is summation of f of x over summation of f. So we are trying to get the total of f of x. That's why we are getting at f of x, as I told you, f of x is just f times x, f times x, f times x, where you know our x 
is the midpoint. So now this one times this one, we are going to get 133.5. And then when you have 54.5, when you multiply with 5, we are going to get um, 272. Point five, so two hundred and seventy-two point five. So when you add all everything here, we are going to get the summation of f x, which will be nine hundred and seventy-five. So it will be nine hundred and seventy-five. So when you want to get the mean, mean, we said it will be summation of f x over summation of f. So it is nine hundred and seventy-five. We are dividing with that, and we are going to get. 32.5 32.5 so that's how we get the mean so remember in this case we need x minus mean but this time we are using absolute absolute value means that if it is negative we you know so in this case i'll do the first one so that you can see so what is x 14.5 minus 32.5 so absolute you realize in this case i'll just show the first one in this case you get it is absolute of um, absolute of 14.5 uh, minus 32.5 you are going to get i think negative 18 so the answer to this one will just be 18 you ignore the negative the answer will be 18 at that column to be 18 so the same case we are going to do we are going to get 24.5 you minus 32.5 so absolute of that one uh, you realize here we are going to get minus 8 so absolute of that one we ignore minus 8 it will just be what you ignore the negative absolute we ignore the negative so for this one it will be 34.5 minus 32.5 in this case we are getting absolute of 2 you just be 2. So this one will be 44.5, the midpoint, minus our mean, which is 32.5. Absolute, we are going to get absolute of 12. And when you get the absolute of 2, is 2. Absolute of 12, it's 12. And the last one will be 54.5. It will be 54.5. We are minus in that 2.5. Absolute of that one, it will be absolute of 22. So absolute means that if it is negative, you ignore. Uh, so in this case, we will have it is just 22. So what it means is that uh, we have gotten how far is your midpoint from the mean? How far is your midpoint from the mean? How far is your value from the mean? It doesn't matter is it from negative. This one is 18. How far from 32.5? It is 18. How far is 24.5 from the mean? It is 8. It doesn't matter either it is on this side or this side. We are looking at how far is that one. Now, because we have gotten our new values, our me, it's like our new values our, on this one. So what we need to do, we need to get F of this one based on the formula. So we are going to get, let me have this one. So we are going to get F and times X minus X bar. Absolute. So we are, in this case, it's very simple. What we are going to do, if this is A, we are just getting A times F. So I'm assuming this is A here. So we are just getting A times the frequency. So the value here, it is 18 times 6. I can get you for the first one, 18. Let me use black pen. 18 times 6. For the first one, it is 18 times 6. What are you going to get? 18 times 6. So in that case, it is 8, 4, 1, 8, 108. So in this case, it is 7 times 8, which will be 56. In this case, it is 9 times 2, 9 times 2, which will be 18. On this one, it will be 3 times 12, which we are going to get 36. And on this case, it's 5 times 22, which we are going to get 110. So this is what we require, the summation of f absolute of x minus x bar absolute sorry we are going to get the summation of this one this is what we are interested in the summation of this one which we are going to get is 328 
when you add 108, 56, 18, that's 6 and 110, we are going to get 310. These are absolute. To show that the value there, you don't consider the negative, you know, the negative. So now we have that one. How do we get mean deviation? Now mean deviation will be summation of f, x minus x bar, all over summation of f. So in this case, what is the summation? 328. What is the summation of f? 30. And you are going to get 10.93. I know 3 is recurring. It will be 10.93 recurring. That's how we get the midpoint. The formula is clear. So the coefficient of mean division is just this value that we have gotten of mean division. We divide with our mean. Uh, maybe I could have written the formula. It is the mean division over our mean. And in this case, it is 10.98, 10.93, sorry, divide with our mean, which was 32.5. And what are we going to get at the coefficient of mean division? We are going to get is 0 0.3364. So that is our uh, coefficient of mean division, and this is our mean division. So as you can see, we have got the mean division and the coefficient of the mean division. So my argument is very simple. How do we get the mean division? It is this formula, summation of f, x minus mean. You may find other books using this. You remember you can use mu. There are some books here they can use mu to represent the mean. So it is x minus mean. Uh, so in this case, how do we get the mean? We have the video on how we get the mean, but I have repeated everything. We need a column of x and f of x so that the summation of f of x over summation of f give us the mean. This is our mean 32.5. So whatever we are getting, it is x minus our mean. Our x, remember, is our midpoint. It will be 14.5. We subtract our mean, that's 2.5. Remember, we are getting negative, but because we are using absolute, those signs show that it is absolute, eh? So what we are going to get is that if it was negative 18, you ignore the negative, we write 18. For this one, we are getting negative 8, you ignore the negative, and the rest fall. So when you have this column now, the only thing remaining is you for you to multiply with your frequency 6 here, this one with your frequency 7 here, 2 with your frequency 9, 12 with your frequency 3, and 22 with your frequency 5. So when you sum that one, you have gotten the numerator. So your numerator is already sorted. So it will be that one, which is 328, all over the total frequency, which is that T. And that's how we got the mean division. And the coefficient of mean division is what we have gotten. As our mean division, we divide with the mean. So that's how we get the mean division and the coefficient of mean division. So in the next video, what we are going to look at, we are going to look at how we get the, the, the mean uh, not the mean, the median. How we get the median? Remember, median, we rate them with quartile. The quartile division in the quartile range, those kind of uh, calculations, we are going to look at them. So thank you for watching. You can keep on uh, subscribing and sharing to your friends so that those who are doing engineering, statistics, mathematics, everywhere in uh, economics, they need this knowledge of statistics so that we can simplify mathematics together. Thank you.